People visiting the voting booth or driving by a polling place on election day no doubt saw a lot of traffic. We had already voted almost 50% in early voting and of course we had an extra week so I don't know that that's totally unexpected but we also had voted nearly as many as we have voted in some of the bigger elections. So. Um, we certainly are seeing much more of an interest in this election. This year, due to COVID, mail-in ballots were of major interest to those wishing to minimize their risk of exposure given the number of people and shared surfaces involved in in-person voting. So it's, and then ballot by mail, of course, we doubled what we would normally have for a ballot by mail, and we've gotten quite a few of those back as well. So. I think there's a lot more interest in this election. Some delays may have been due to first-time poll workers and first-time voters, of which there are many this year. Additionally, processing IDs to get voters into the voting booths is taking longer than years past, too. Because the new driver's license, we used to be able to take our barcode scanner and scan the driver's license to find the voter. But with those new uh, driver's license, it won't scan any longer. So they're having to actually type in the names and look for the po people and then go through the list of names and see if they can find them to be able to check them in. Following Elections Day, a six-day grace period is slotted to allow processing of absentee and provisional ballots. Victor Glenn, KLST News.